What's up guys, SAP dude here. I hope you're doing good. In this video, I will continue the plan maintenance related topic. We will talk about notifications, the basic transactional data of this module. It doesn't mean we covered all the master data topics in the previous videos, not at all. Follow the channel, check out the description of the video if you want to be updated and yeah, let's get started. Imagine you are a technician, a mechanic or an office guy working in a workshop facility. So am I right now. I'm a mechanic and I want to paint one of the cars that is owned by our clients. So what I do? First of all, mm, I have to reach out to my working space. So let's find the paint booth. Here we go, let's enter it. The car is already there, so I can start the paint job. I got all the necessary tools already with me. I pick the color, um, so we will. It will be white, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Unfortunately, the compressor that I'm going to use stopped working. It means I'm a, in a deep, yeah. I cannot do the work. So what should I do right now? I could go back to the office and tell the guys it's not working, and I could call them as well. Or I could just go to the warehouse and ask for a new compressor. There are many possibilities how I could handle it. That's why it's so vital to define the processes in a company. In my case, there is no office here in Texas. I mean, we have some people, but they don't care about the malfunctions. I basically call the central unit, which is in Florida, and they call the right people and so on. I got a problem and I need the solution fast. Let's stop here and see the definition of notifications in SAP. It's an application component in maintenance processing which is used in the event of malfunction or exceptional situation to first describe the technical problem of an object, request the maintenance department to perform a necessary task, document work that has been performed. Maintenance notifications document maintenance tasks completely and make them available for analysis in the long term. You can use them for preliminary planning and execution of tasks. In this video, we will focus on the first two purposes, describing the technical problem and requesting the maintenance. Notifications can be used to document the work that has been performed, but in your SAP plan maintenance career, you will also find another component called work order. This one is dedicated, for example, for mechanics, to confirm the time they spent for repair, what spare parts they used and took from the warehouse, etc. Ok, let's switch back to our facility. The compressor is down, we can't work, so let's create a notification for our maintenance department. We will start with the old classic way with SAP GUI. What we got to do is to open the transaction IW21. Here we just select the notification type. In other words, if you want to report that some asset is damaged, you use this one. M1, for instance, stands for maintenance request. It means you can request some work from the PM team. It doesn't mean it's critical or some machine is broken or, or something. Yeah? There are also other types like M3 for activity report, etc. But let's skip them right now. So let's select the M2 and press enter. As you see, we got more fields right now, but it's not like all of them have to be filled out. We have to enter the description, so I will enter here a compressor stopped working. I jump down to the reference section and here I will enter the equipment number of the compressor. You may remember it from the previous video where we discussed the bill of materials and use it as an example. We could add more things, like for example, you could categorize the damage and specify which part of the compressor is down. For this, we use catalogs and code groups, which you see here. These starting with Z ISO are according to the ISO standards. So I will select, for example, mechanical failure, mm, mechanical failure general. All right. In the section responsibilities, you can enter who reported the problem and who is going to take care of that. But it's not mandatory and we as car mechanics we have no idea who is going to take care of that. Scrolling down to malfunction data, here we can enter info about the dates. So when the malfunction started, once it's repaired the notification can be edited and we can add the malfunction end date and the time. It's really useful for the future analysis. In SAP PM there are reports which follow the global standards and global KPIs like MTTR 
mean time to repair, etc. Our compressor stopped working, so it makes sense to select the breakdown checkbox. It basically means the object is down, it broke down, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Let's say it's fixed, and if we enter the malfunction end date and time, I will do it right, right now, and I will enter the end time. And I will just press enter. The system automatically calculates the breakdown duration. Okay, I will delete it. PM notification has much more functionalities which can be used in your company. You can enter activities which you performed, for instance, in this tab. You can define tasks, which then will be moved to work order once it's created and linked with the notification. However, in most of the companies, the process is pretty simple. Notifications are used to request something to notify the maintenance department about the damage and that's all. I did it in an old way via SAP GUI, right? First of all, you need a PC with SAP and, and second, as you see, there are so many fields. So yeah, it's not so user-friendly screen. That's why we're gonna switch to SAP Fiori right now and do the same thing, but much faster and better. Okay, we have the Fiori Launchpad open and we see three tiles, create maintenance notification, request maintenance and create maintenance request. And it may confuse you, I know, but no worries, I will explain you everything. The first tile is not a Fiori app, it's a web GUI application. I will just launch it and show you what I'm talking about. I will select the notification type M1, click continue and see, again, millions of fields, etc. So yeah, let's leave it. The second tile called Request Maintenance is a Fiori application. I launch it and you see something different. Less fields and yeah, first of all, we can enter the technical object. So here we have one field where we enter either functional location or equipment number. Cool, uh, let's select the A compressor. I will type in compressor maybe. Yeah, this one, all right. Cool, we can enter details like description, type of notification, some notes and such. But yeah, I will also leave this one. Why? Because there is an even more fresh app for this. If you are a completely new guy in SAP world, yeah, it might be confusing right now, but no worries, it's easy to understand. Basically, there are many different versions of SAP. The most current version is of course S4 HANA, but it has different releases. And this application is available from release 2021, so kinda fresh. That's why it's so important to make analysis, see what version your client has, etc. Because the higher release of S4, the more cool stuff is available. So coming back to the app, it's called Create Maintenance Request. Let's launch it. First of all, we can enter the technical object manually or use the barcode scanner. So that's something new. I'm using my laptop right now, so I won't scan anything, but on mobile, why not? Uh, let's enter the compressor. Okay. We can enter other things which are not mandatory. Mandatory is the description. So I will enter something. Uh, a compressor stopped working. We see some template here, um, so we can add more details and we can also assess the priority. Um, previously it was like user had to assess it on his or her own, yeah? So here I can select priority or I can just assess it and I will do it right now. Now by answering some questions the system can pick priority automatically for you. We got category people, safety risk and we just answer what is the consequence of this malfunction that we want to report. I will select the first option, so no injury. Then, what is the likelihood? Let's say it's likely to occur between 3 months and 12 months. And you see, the system calculated the priority for me. There is no artificial intelligence behind. There is a configuration which you as PM consultant have to do as a prerequisite. If you want to see how it's done, yeah, follow the channel so you can get more familiar with such things. All right, let's close it. Apply. All right, I scroll down, uh, I can attach a photo of malfunction here, so another cool thing. And yeah, I forgot about one detail. 
this A compressor already has some open notification, so you can see this information here. It's also a good thing because it prevents from creating duplicates in the system. I can save the request and voila. It's created. This app is relevant for so-called phase-based maintenance. It means the notification has to be now reviewed by the gatekeeper or maintenance supervisor and he or she can accept it or reject. It's kind of new process in SAP plan maintenance and actually that's something really useful. If you want to seal the full process, let me know in the comment section on YouTube or other socials which are linked in the description. That was it for this video, thanks a lot. I hope the PM notifications are now more clear for you. Have a good one and see you in the next video.